The Department of uh, Justice is providing $139 million uh, to police departments, local police departments, to hire more than 1,000 new officers. The money will go to 183 different police departments uh, for 1,066 police officers. This is part of the Office of Community-Oriented Policing Services COPS hiring program. And since the office began in 1994 it has given out more than 14 billion of our taxpayers uh taxpayer dollars to hire more rogue pirates to steal and uh, abuse us the irs uh, announced that it seized 3.5 billion dollars in cryptocurrency that's 93 percent of the money that the IRS seized in 2020 and it is coming in crypto. And this seems to be a part of a major push from the IRS where they, they had spent another multi-billion dollar seizure year in 2021. I think this is actually, we'll be looking at fiscal year 2022 and the 3.5 billion would be from fiscal year 2021, uh, which I think by the U S government ends in October. October. And so all this money uh, that the IRS is getting through crypto and seizing it, it, it seems that they're getting more powers to monitor and regulate crypto. And so my guess is that, you know, once they realize how much money there, there is to be made here, it's not that they're going to stop uh, seizing a whole bunch of crypto, they're just going to steal more and more of it. And, uh, you know, if you're a big Bitcoin guy, uh, you probably want to start to look at ways to make sure you, you can protect yourself uh, from the, the thieves at the IRS. Last story here. It probably isn't a big one, but just wanted to mention that Attorney Jared Merrick Garland dreads uh, federal prosecutors try to prioritize cases of air travel assault. And, you know, in the past year, year and a half through the COVID pandemic, there's been a lot of attention paid to uh, what what's happening in the air. Now, I'm not sure how much, if, you know, these incidents on airplanes are actually up or actually why if people really just get so upset that they're having to wear a mask, that they're assaulting flight attendants or, you know, if there, there's other things going on here. Flying, you know, uh, very anxiety provoking for a lot of people, uh, especially on airplane. It could be very hard to hear when somebody is talking to you with a mask on uh, with all the like other ambient noise and not being able to like read the person's lips at all. Uh, maybe it could be people who aren't wearing masks at all. Uh, uh, then, you know, put on a mask and on plane, they have to wear one for five, six hours. Maybe they have a little less oxygen, less critical thinking. They're, uh, you know, a little bit more aggressive or volatile for that reason. Uh, but nonetheless, the uh, Department of Justice is going to start to prioritize these cases. So, you know, be careful what you're doing on airplanes. I'm guessing the, the flight attendants are going to be more even, even more aggressive and empowered now.